Well, see you later. Who cares? No matter how hard they looked, even our organized crime department couldn't catch Junya Kanashiro. And yet he simply turned himself in, even confessed all his crimes. <sighs> Phantom Thieves. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. yes, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? I hope she hasn't fallen under their influence. Shiro finally confessed! People have been making a huge deal of it since the police announcement. It's difficult to accept that the authorities are taking all of the credit for his arrest. People are going nuts about the Phantom Thieves online, though. Look! It's all coming together for us. Oh, this is quite the turnaround. All of a sudden, people are expressing their long-standing belief in us. So this is why Makoto told us to post the calling card anywhere that might stand out. Pretty smart move on her part. Oh, where is our amazing Miss President? Hello? It's Makoto. My apologies, but I, I won't be able to join you today. I've been called into a meeting with the principal. There's no need to worry, though. More importantly... There was a special on TV about the Phantom Thieves. Huh? What did it say? They were talking all about our calling cards. For real? Anyway, my apologies about today. I'll have to see you all another time. Who was that? Really? Oh, that's freaking crazy! I hope all this excitement doesn't place us in the police's radar. It'll be fine! No way they'd find out about that weird other world. True. But do you remember what the fake Kaneshiro said towards the end? Yeah, he said we're not the only ones who are doing it. Eh, not gonna let it bother me. As far as we know, he was just pulling that shit out of his ass. I hope that's the case. Anyways, in your face, Akechi. Now, what do you want to do about our next target? Don't get ahead of yourself. Still, people might expect a lot from our next move, considering how excited they're getting. We can't just pick any old schmo now. There is no need to hurry, though. 
Counting Kamoshida, we've claimed three consecutive victories, right? We should just lay low and wait for all this excitement to blow over. In that case, how about we have another celebration? Oh, good idea! We can make it a welcoming party for Miss President, too! By the way, that briefcase, it's pretty damn expensive! Let's sell it and drop the cash on our party! Wow. Seems like the lay low and wait idea has gone completely out the window. So we can count you out then, Morgana? Uh, what are you talking about? I was just saying we should try and keep our party on the down low. <laughs> and that's the spirit! Well, I'm gonna let Makoto know. Hi, Makoto. There's something we forgot to tell you. So... Oh... What's wrong? Hello? I hope you remember we have finals next week. Yusuke and Morgana excluded, of course. Do you wish not to stand out? You had best not get bad grades, okay? That is something I simply would not be able to overlook as student council president. For now, behave and concentrate on your studies. We can have fun once finals are over. Understood? <sighs> Care to explain? I believe in what I wrote. The Phantom Thieves are just. Have you figured out who they are? No, I'm nowhere close. However, after considering all the facts, I concluded there are no errors in their acts or principles. Thus, upon deeming them to be on the side of justice, I have decided to end my investigation. But that's impossible! Impossible? May I see the evidence you have that leads you to believe so? I was just speaking to the director of a prestigious college about your letter of recommendation, too. There will be no need for that. I intend on getting into a good college by my own merit. Please excuse me. Hey, we're not done here! <sighs> Sir, it's me. I apologize for bothering you like this. About that. Yes, I am making progress. <laughs> However, I have stumbled upon some difficulties. Still, why would someone as important as you be interested in a petty case like this? No, that's not what I meant. I will investigate with all the resources available to me. Of course. Um, I should be able to let you know relatively soon. Yes, I will bring good news. Uh, well then, uh, thank you for your... Damn it! I'm home. Hi, sis. You look tired. Is everything okay? Don't worry about me. How about you, Makoto? Have you been keeping up with your studies? Yes, of course. Though, what is the point of studying? What do you mean? I was just wondering what will be waiting for me at the end. Even if I manage to push through tough entrance exams, I'm still thrust into a competitive society. What else is there besides success? Don't ask me such childish questions. Isn't this the man the Phantom Thieves sent a calling card for? I heard he confessed all his crimes. Even the police couldn't figure out why. It really... was out of nowhere. This would only make sense if his personality changed. That would be impossible. Why does it matter? The police still caught him in the end, right? I had plans set for a promotion, but no one can take credit for his arrest now with that confession. Not that a child would understand. So she was pursuing the case after all. Promotion. You've changed, sis. But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. Ah, 
you're back. Thanks. I'll see you later then. Ridiculous. This new ally you gained was Makoto? Just tell me the truth! Makoto... That's preposterous! If what you say is true... Was Makoto also running from the police when you were arrested? Now that I think about it... She did start talking a lot about the investigation from summer onward. <sighs> Makoto aside, you mentioned one other important detail. Did Kanashiro really say there was someone using the metaverse besides the Phantom Thieves? Those words could just be taken as you shifting blame to this other person, you know. But why would you fabricate such an elaborate story and then shift the blame elsewhere? There are two possibilities. Either you've simply been trying to confuse me with your lies, or everything you've stated is true. Have you been telling me the truth from the very start? Does that mean you're placing your trust in me? <sighs> then again, I am investigating a thief who steals hearts. Very well. No matter how absurd it may seem, I'll reevaluate my stance on believing you, for now. In return, speak the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It's a fair deal. Is that acceptable? I am thou. It shall become the wings of rebellion that with the birth of the judgment persona... All right. We're running out of time. Let's move on to your next target. I stand corrected. It was they who targeted your group first, wasn't it? 
The identity of your opponent is this. We have no pictures. Even their names and identities are unknown. If what you told me is true, then this nav thing you've mentioned wouldn't have worked in this case. How did you target them? Tell me everything. Hey, check the ingredients in the fridge. Hey, what's up? Huh? It's not right? Not cute. That was the one the staff recommended to me, though. Won't that printer do? Huh? It'll do, but it's not it. Okay, I'll be right over. This might take a while. I'm leaving the store to you. Lock up for me if I don't come back. I owe you one. <laughs> what a handful. And that concludes the latest news on the suspect Kaneshiro. This case is said to be a result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but what do you think? We don't know their methods, but I believe they are a menace that will threaten this law-abiding country. This dangerous group tampers with people's hearts. It's no different from brainwashing. I see. You're absolutely correct. I wonder what's going on. Didn't this happen a little while ago, too? Who was it again? You know, that famous artist. Ah, uh, Madorame, was it? They punished those awful people, didn't they? The Phantom Thieves aren't at fault, then. Well, that may be true, but... Don't you think so, too, dearie? The Phantom Thieves aren't doing anything wrong, are they? See? Even he says that they're doing good. Oh, my! Look at the time. We should probably head home. Ah, you're right. Thanks for the drink. Yes. I've received the reports on Kaneshiro's case. But to think the Phantom Thieves would honestly attempt an absurd idea like social reform. Uh, you're absolutely right. I'm not pleased about the general public's support of them either. There's also the danger of the Metaverse being exposed with their continued actions. Actually, there is one countermeasure he brought in that seems usable. It involves having the Phantom Thieves destroy themselves without our direct intervention. We'll set things up so that those mental shutdown occurrences are their doing. Ah, I thought as much. I had a feeling that it was too brutal for it to be his own idea. Still, think you'd go through such elaborate detail to crush them. Their actions must be that much of an eyesore for you. I sympathize with what you're going through. Well then, I'll clean this up quickly and put it behind us. Yes, a grand undertaking like social reform is beyond a group such as the Phantom Thieves. Only a few people are entitled to change the world. Like you, future Prime Minister. <laughs> hey, it's me! Where you at? What you doing? Gotcha. 
We're gonna come over right now about the, uh, you know what. See ya. What's up? We're here to hang out. That's not why we're here. We need to study for finals. Why am I here too? You're one of us now, so of course you gotta help us. We're in trouble if you don't teach us, you know. Even you're saying such things? Let's leave those guys be. <sighs> I couldn't ask the last time I was here, but what is this place? The storekeeper doesn't seem to be around. It's where this guy lives. He's got complicated circumstances. We can tell her about it, right? Actually, tell yourself. That's... that's terrible. On Yusuke and me are pretty much the same too. I mean, <laughs> it's not as bad as this guy's though. It's just something we can't ever put up with. That's why we all became Phantom Thieves. Hey, don't forget me. I know, I know. We're all part of the team. By the way, Makoto, ain't there someone you can't forgive either? Like, a heart you want to change? That's a secret. Ah, oh, there's someone like that. You could just tell us, you know. You don't gotta be so cold. That aside, do you have any intention of studying for the exam? Not really. It's fine if I leave then? No, no, I'm just joking. Please teach us. Hmm, what was this term? It's phobia, so it's a fear of some kind. I think it's a fear of open spaces. You don't hear it that often, though. Leave vocabulary and long sentences to me. I suck at proper grammar, though. Duh, even if we study English, it's not like I'm gonna use it in the future. When it comes to you, your Japanese is questionable, too. Ah, uh, shut up! Explain the writer's feelings? What point is there in that? Oh, it's impossible. I can't memorize all these formulas. Ain't there a good way of cheating? <sighs> Why don't we take a break? And that was the follow-up report on the suspect Kaneshiro. Now, Akechi-san. This case is said to be the result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but in actuality, is this true? Considering how a calling card was scattered about, I believe there's no mistaking that. The question is what the Phantom Thieves actually did. If they tampered with the suspect's heart, it casts doubt on the authenticity of any confession. So then, by tampering with hearts, the Phantom Thieves are fabricating crimes that may not exist? We can't deny the possibility. There's no doubt that the Phantom Thieves are exposing hidden injustices in society. However, if this is done by sidestepping the law, their way of thinking is very dangerous. So, in a way, they're outlaws. Yes. They're no different than the criminals they target. This cannot be overlooked. I see. Oh, I see. My ass! Why the hell are we being treated as the bad guys? Just let them say whatever they want. More people are starting to understand that what we're doing is right, after all. When I'm walking around in town, I hear a lot more people talking about us, too. And the forum's been full of hype. Do you think we made it big time? Don't get pompous over dealing with some street thug. Save it for after we deal with a bigger target. We just gotta take down a bigger one, yeah? That was the plan from the start anyways. True. It may be best if we start thinking about it. I bet we'll find one in no time. Wind's blowing in our direction and everything. I feel like we won't lose to anything right now. Well, we'll decide on that eventually. We need to overcome our exams first. Now then, break time's over. Let's get back to... That reminds me! The celebration party! Weren't we gonna do it after exams? Yes, I believe so. Where should we go? I feel like I'll study better if I got something to look forward to. The last one was a buffet at a hotel. 
We haven't gone anywhere since. Hmm? A buffet? Hmm, where would be good? Hey, what about fireworks? A fireworks festival! Oh yeah, it's that season, huh? <laughs> that sounds good to me. It's hard to ignore a buffet, but I'll take the beauties of summer. Still, I demand that we feast during the festival as well. Do you guys own a yukata? Will you wear a yukata? Doesn't a fireworks festival sound good? Uh, you think so too, right? All right, fireworks festival it is. Let's look for a good one. Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. All right, fireworks festival it is. Let's look for a good one. Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Oh! 